so overwhelmed. I've done this the last couple times where I am so overwhelmed that I just don't do the things I'm supposed to be doing. I'm pretty sure I forgot to paint my nails. The first time, because I was so overwhelmed, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta do this, but then you can't like pack when you have wet nails. And then like I wanted to make all this content and like record the process and all these things and I just get <clears throat> so overwhelmed. <sighs> I'm stressed because the lines for Taylor's merch truck are like already crazy and it's like not even a show day. Um, so hopefully people are just kind of getting it out of the way so that tomorrow and the next day aren't as bad. I don't really care as much about that merch because I already purchased a sweatshirt from her website, which I love and I haven't seen it in the truck, so that's good. But I wanted to take a picture by the truck because I'm getting this sweatshirt for the Hannah Montana anniversary that's like Hannah Montana eras. And I want to take a picture of it in front of the eras truck because that's the logo. And then post a picture with the um, Always Find Your Way Back Home lyric from Hannah Montana movie because Taylor wrote it and it's like, I'm seeing Taylor on the anniversary of Hannah Montana. Anyway, I'm watching the Reputation Stadium Tour on Netflix. I'm painting my nails. Um, I've got one more coat to do, a clear coat. I've got to stop moving. I already went to the bathroom and I feel like I messed it up. The reason I want to start recording is because I am stressing about the newest poster that uh, Adele Access actually recently shared it. And the posters are always incredible. I've been obsessed with them. The last few weeks it was polka dotted. Like there's little tiny spots all over it and I don't, I don't do spots. I can't do, I heard of trip, trypophobia. They freak me out. So I'm glad that this final one is not spots. But look at this. It's so gorgeous. It's, and, and one of the things I wanted, I wanted the poster to be like her bowing or like arms out bowing or that was one idea. Or I really wanted the, uh, the cherry blossoms at the end of the show and I didn't know how he would do that. I thought that maybe like the beginning written on it because that's the, the final scene. I thought that would be cool but I didn't know how he would do words. And he goes and does the cherry blossoms but not just the cherry blossoms, he put the cat in it too. Ugh, I still, it is, it is noon, it's almost one o'clock, and I haven't steamed anything, I haven't packed anything. Um, we leave at 11 a.m., and then the store opens at noon, and I'm pretty sure this poster is gonna sell like crazy. I hope they print more for this weekend. I don't know, I need, first word problems, I need that poster. Speaking of a black cat. <laughs> so we're not checking any bags tomorrow so that we can just get to the Coliseum and I can get that poster. But there's a couple people I know on Twitter that are saying that either they can try to get one or that there's posters available inside the Coliseum so then people with tickets can have access to it like Friday, Saturday. You know, like it just makes sense to have a ticketed person have access versus people that just come and aren't going to the show. That's my opinion. So my mom is on her way and I think we're gonna have dinner tonight with my husband and maybe his parents. And then in the morning, we're going to the airport. And I was seeing Taylor Swift tomorrow. I'm so overwhelmed. This is too much, too much happening. Make some TikToks. I wanna, I'm trying to use some battery on my camera so that I can have it fully charged before I go. Um, I'm clearing up some storage on my phone and all these things to prepare. Ha! <laughs> that this wouldn't show up in time. It was supposed to be delivered on Saturday, but then it was delivered today. Perfect timing. <laughs> Hit him on Tana, the Eras Tour. I love it. It's so cozy too. <laughs> so hopefully I can get a picture of this in front of the truck that has the um, Eras pictures on it as a backdrop with some lyrics from Y'all Always Find Your Way Back Home. Okay. So, nails are done, my toes blue for Taylor Swift, like debut, and then I should probably start thinking about packing. It's two now. So I did end up steaming and packing and getting ready to go eventually. <laughs> my mom showed up and helped me kind of sort through things because I didn't, it was only two nights and I didn't need to pack as much as I was trying to pack. She bought these matching pajamas that were I drink wine colored for myself, my mom, and mother-in-law. Um, and then day of, 
we got to the airport a couple hours early, had breakfast. Um, my mom the whole time was tracking us on the plane. Okay, I had Caesar's salad at Caesar's Palace in Vegas. Um, that was our first meal. We walked around day of, and since the concert was day of, we saw so many Swifties walking around Vegas. And then I got ready super quick. Um, and it was really cold, so I ended up just wearing the Aeros sweatshirt instead of my Speak Now dress, which was kind of sad, but anyway. <laughs>
You guys, that concert was amazing, and she worked so hard. <laughs> um, I don't know how she goes for three hours straight, over three hours, with costume changes, and just, uh, she was amazing. It was a great concert. Um, my feet hurt afterwards, and I was wearing tennis shoes, so wear smart footwear. <laughs> okay, we got back to the hotel around, like, 1 a.m., because we had to walk all the way back. Um, it was cold and windy, and we were exhausted, so we slept in the next day for Adele Day. Yay! Um, from our hotel room, we could see the Bellagio Fountains, which was pretty fun. My mom was very amused by that. <laughs> and we walked the strip. My mom went to a bakery. We had got coffee from our hotel. We stayed at the Flamingo, and it was really fun. They actually have flamingos at the Flamingo. Also, apparently the Flamingo is the first hotel that was on the strip like before there was even a strip it was like the first in the desert um so there's a fun fact for you speaking of fun facts i used to work for disney during the wilderness explorer program in animal kingdom so i had plenty of flamingo fun facts because they have a flamingo badge anyway morning and afternoon of the adele concert we just spent walking on the strip um it was so fun because we kept seeing like sequins and sparkles and fun outfits for people that were going to Taylor Swift since she had two nights in a row um, and she has a stadium so so many people were in town for Taylor Swift. It was a really fun day. I was pretty anxious because I was a little bit sad that Adele's residency was going to be ending but of course she extended um, so we ate some food, went to the same place that my husband and I went to the last couple times because they're really good and quick service. And then I went back to the hotel to get ready and listen to Adele music while I was getting ready. And then we went to the Coliseum and took pictures with other daydreamers, which was probably my favorite part of the trip besides the actual concerts because I met so many nice people that either like recognized me from online or like we had been mutual friends on Twitter. It was so much fun. Um, and then the concert obviously was incredible. I will never top that night. And during when we were young, when she was walking around, I was a few seats in from where she walks through. And then when she was doing her high note on when we were young, we locked eyes and it was the best moment ever. Oh, I want to go back. <laughs>
anxious person and I get more and more anxious the older I'm getting and what this show in this room and being so close to where I'm currently based, which is obviously LA, the value of sameness that this experience has given me in terms of me being in control of it. So I know exactly where I'm gonna be, what it's gonna look like, what it's gonna feel like, where my things are, and I can do exactly the same thing Monday to Thursday back at home. It's very, very, it's been very, very important for my growth because as you all know, a few years ago I went through a divorce that completely turned my entire life upside down and it turned our lives upside down. And I have been, could we get emotional? I have been trying every single day with all of my heart to rebuild from the foundations back up. chosen to dismantle your life or whether your life has been dismantled for you. It's hard. It's hard for everybody. It doesn't matter what, what you have and what you don't have. It's really, really heartbreaking. But it's been very amicable, which has been amazing. But I can't, I couldn't have gone on tour. I can't leave this life that I'm trying to build. So the convenience of this, as selfish as it might sound, the convenience of this for me has been wonderful because for me it's the best of both worlds even though it's somewhat limiting because it's such a small room and it's in the dust bloody Vegas <laughs> which is hilarious I'm definitely not in Tottenham anymore and, um, and it's you know I know a lot of people can't even afford to come even if they wanted to come but for me I feel like I just this is all I could really do at this point in my life and I have thoroughly enjoyed it I really really have It was, we were in lockdown, I was, it was definitely like 11 a.m. and I was definitely like four bottles of wine in, like I'm sure we all were. So I've, ne I've never drunk on, a, on stage well, when I was like 17 I did. Okay, I said in 2020, because I wanted to put my album out, but obviously we were all at home, just drunk basically. I'm sure we were. <laughs> and I said, to, you know, I was like, I want to put the album out, but I don't want to put an album out in COVID and stuff like that. And I was like, if I can't do some shows, I was like, fuck it, let's see if Vegas want me. And then, so we got into it, and they did want me. <laughs> well, Caesars wanted me at least. And, um, and I remember, uh, we flew here, Jonathan, I remember we flew here to come and see this room. <laughs> and, I remember, and I've been here before to see Queen Celine, but again, I, I just got married with two best gay friends, I was off my face. <laughs> I, I could have literally been anywhere in the world and I wouldn't have known. So I didn't recognise my bearings of where I was. So I was expecting to come in through the doors that you come in to see the room empty and see the stage and stuff, but they brought me up the back. So when I walked up, I was on the stage. And I remember just bursting into tears because I was so desperate to do shows, which was such a bizarre feeling to be tired. And then, and then we did all the deal and all of that, and then I had to cancel my shows, and it was the worst thing I've ever met, felt in my career. It was the worst thing, and everyone, what the fucking shit people were saying about me, Jesus Christ. I mean, people are mean, but fucking hell, man, they wanted me to fucking die, I swear. And I was absolutely devastated, and I come back, and as usual, I smash it. I always smash it, especially when you and I still am sorry for the inconvenience and the disappointment especially to the people who have landed in Vegas already because I can't imagine that's never happened to me before and I can't imagine I'll be upset but you know I put my heart and soul into this show and um, as happy as I am in this room playing to 4,000 4, people for 34 nights is not enough and I know that I know it's not enough so I am coming back <laughs> until the end of fall and it's just not only is this an underplay but also it's such a fucking vibe in this room I, just, I wanted to know the show anyway 
even if none of you are in here, I'm like, I feel so safe in here and this, my life is tiny. I don't really leave my house, so that's by choice. But my life used to be massive when I was younger. And it's like the bigger my career's got and the more scared and anxious I've become. And I still do that, I just hang out with my dogs, hang out with my son, chat away with my housekeeper and hang out with my boyfriend. But on Fridays and Saturdays, I really look forward to coming because I feel like I'm gonna have a night out and see my friends. And Because you know what I'm like, I'm an absolute recluse. I'm going to have some nice vacations and I'm going to uh, chill out and do my exercise and stuff like that again. And I'm definitely getting drunk tonight. <laughs> so I'll see you in June and I'll see you in August. And I'll, you know, the management will pull the details out. I love you. Thank you so much for coming to my show. This is still, this still feels like my last show, by the way, because I fucking did it. guys that show was amazing <laughs> i don't even know what to say um the boutique was clearing out they had to get ready for the next residency i guess we woke up at 3 or 4 a.m to get to the airport for our 6 a.m flight got some coffee and i looked at all my photos and you can find them on instagram they're the best photos i've ever taken in my whole entire life because dell is beautiful hello it's and me we i wanted to end the video um it's been a week or two. How long has it been? It's been like two weeks and I just want to get this video up. I would love to talk about everything that went down and maybe I could talk about that in another video but there's so much concert footage. Also, I got a cold of some sort afterwards so I don't sound great, I don't feel great. Um, I tested negative for COVID twice so it's not COVID but, and it's also weird because my symptoms didn't show up until a f more than a week after I returned but I heard other people were getting sick. Um, I mean, it's to be expected. It was two concerts and and I was exhausted and like zero sleep. Um, but I'm gonna add a voiceover to this video and then hopefully get it up soon so you guys can see. I got a poster from Taylor Swift and I got a, what did I get? For Adele, I got a sash that says, it's my birthday, weekends with Adele and the little baby sippy cup because they were totally out of merch. I think I have a video that shows they were clearing out of Adele merch um, and then I wasn't even going to bother with Taylor Swift. I bought the poster with the discount after the fact because I was not about to get in that line. The, the girls next to me getting into the concert said they were in line for six hours and then they got to the front of the line and they did not even have the things that they wanted that were like exclusive to the show. So I wasn't going to bother with that. If you are going to the Aeros tour, make sure you go like the day before your concert and try to get in line for that because it is hours and hours. It seems like they're limiting now how many things you can get. Hopefully that's still the case. But um, anyway, thanks for watching. This was an incredible weekend. It was a lot. I don't think I want to do two concerts in one weekend again, but I'm also not one to travel for concerts that was kind of wild um and adele is coming back for 34 more shows people think that she has an album coming out called 34 because she did 34 shows initially and then she's adding 34 shows and she's 34 years old if we're getting an album called 34 it's not going to come for 
couple years. If she has an album coming out soon, it's gonna be like 32 or something because of the timing of writing and producing and recording and all those things and printing and, but she's gonna be on Carpool Karaoke for James Corden's final show or something. So lots coming, hopefully, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching.